Hey, it's me, popping back in and out like always, but I kinda feel like I need to explain myself. Who the fuck is k Bro? Why am I here? Why is my profile picture got Konada? Why do I keep disappearing from YouTube vividly and just coming back randomly? Well, I guess I can start with my name. Kid Ro Ro Ro. It's an odd name, with multiple different meanings and references. Let's start with Kid. I am young. In friend groups, family, and classes, I've always been the youngest amongst. It is both a blessing and a curse. I'm especially way too young to be on the internet. Like I had a presence when I was like 8. So the kid part makes sense why. Now for the ro ro ro. Now there's two main reasons why I use these weird odd combinations of letters. The most common normal meaning is that my mom calls me ro ro, a Spanish slang, specifically Mexican, in which it is way to call someone baby. Baby. My mother called me this for so fucking long, so it stuck as my name. Now, for the most stupidest in this is this meme. For the normies, this is an infamous Kokoro Wish comic by Jennifer Diane Wrights. Jennifer Diane Wrights is a locale infamous for making unicorn jelly, a webcomic infamous for its odd but yet very appealing art style, in my opinion, and with bad writing. But with these extreme autismal explanation of like the world's physics and like vegeta it's it's insane. Like she's she's put a lot of thought into this. Now I don't want to get too intense in her life because there's a lot but basically she she's this boomer weeb like OG otaku even before Toonami so we're talking like 80s and 90s otaku and she was in a polyamorous relationship with three other people one of those is her boyfriend who is a programmer he coded the games and she made the artwork they made two games together one is Boppin, an abstract puzzle game. It sold pretty poorly. Uh, the other is unreleased, called Multiverse. It was basically No Man's Sky before No Man's Sky. After these attempts at making games that's gone nowhere, she made this piece of vent art, in which she lambasts her SO for destroying her life and career. Even though he had worked his ass off while she's making these webcomics and MLP fanfics, it became a meme, and yeah, that's my name. Now for my profile picture, it's fairly simple. I love breakcore. It is my favorite music genre and I want to make some. A lot of modern breakcore artists use this anime profile pics, and a common character was Konada. I was familiar with the character but never watched the anime and especially the manga, so one day I gave it a shot, and overnight, I became Konapild. Konada is my favorite anime character. She's cute, relatable, and well written. Now while searching for profile pictures to use, I came across Lee's legendary images. Emo Konada by Bid9137331. These images are like a fucking fossil. The compression, the description, <laughs> oh man, I love it. So I use it as my Twitter profile picture for a while and it just stuck. People know me as Emo Konada or 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 as I call it, God Kona. So that's kind of stuck and kind of became like my identity on the internet. Honestly, if I could change my name, it would probably be Kit Kokoro since it's cooler. And actually, people before um, that I talked to legitimately thought my name was just Kit Kokoro. But no, it's not. It's Kit Roro. But anyways, goodbye.